Joe, can I just we've had reports obviously <clears throat> about Robbie Henshaw. Can you tell us uh, is he injured? Is he okay? Uh, Robbie pulled up with a tightness in his hamstring. Uh, he has a scan at 2 p.m. today, and that will give us more information. What, what do you think at the moment? I mean, what's, what's your initial um, Look, I, I think the fact that he, he pulled up, he, he wasn't accelerating at the time. Um, you know, we'd be hopeful it's not too bad. Uh, is, is it likely to rule them out of, of this week? Yeah, you'd have to say it is likely, the fact that he did pull up. But we'd be hopeful it's not too bad. And again, I, I don't want to guess when we, we, we'll get the scan this afternoon. We know Will Addison was left on the bench last night. No, sir. I mean, is, is there any thoughts about bringing him over? Is he on his way over at the moment? No, he's not on his way over. That was precautionary, just to make sure that, uh, that we had fit and able cover should we, should we need a replacement for Robbie. It's uh, kind of similar to four years ago. I think it was on the sorry, four years ago. I think on, on the eve of the tournament that, or on the eve of Ireland's first game, it was in the days leading up to it. I think probably Henshaw had a similar injury, and it was kind of a similar situation as well, where it leaked out in the media a couple of days before, and we actually got confirmation. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Like, does that disrupt you at all? And you're thinking that it kind of gets out before uh, you actually address it yourself? No, it it was inevitable that it would, uh, particularly when I spoke to to Will, and Will was named to start. Um, on the bench, obviously, start the game, and he went onto the bench. And I spoke to Dan McFarlane, and uh, you know, as soon as you make a change like that, when people are watching and, and keeping an eye on who is playing and who's not playing, that late change obviously signalled something to someone. And, and uh, you know, we didn't really try to keep it a, a big secret because um, you know we, we believed that it would uh, it would surface pretty quickly anyway. So obviously you've got four centres in the squad anyway, you've got Chris Farrell and Gary Moore, so um, does this immediately show um, the fruit of making that selection and also the fact that you've got quality goal? Yeah, I, I do, and we had made, as, as much as people might have written it into their reports, we had made, made no decisions on who was going to be playing anywhere uh, for this week, so... Um, there's obviously people better informed than I am uh, predicting who was going to play and where, but uh, I, I can assure you that we had made no, no decisions, so it's still quite open. We'll see what happens with Robbie because you know, it, if it was just a tightening, uh, it could be a, a cramp. We've travelled a lot, we've tried to be fully rehydrated, fully recovered, but if it is more than that and we do leave, leave him out this week, we do feel we've got good cover. ジョーさん、あの、スコットランドとの日本というこの試合の流れっていうのはあ、I think it's a tough order. I think uh, Scotland will be very difficult for us. Um, and I think just a six-day turnaround to Japan and Shizuoka will be very tough. Um, I know uh, Jamie and, and Tony Brownwell, uh, I think they're, they're doing a great job. They were obviously very strong in the Pacific, Pacific Nations Cup. And um, I, I think we're trying to take one match at a time, but we've certainly got an eye to the future and, and the quality that the Japanese team have. Joe, could you just talk a bit about um, coming to Chiba, like why you didn't go direct to Yokohama, what's the thinking about having a few days here before you move it, and also what are the training facilities like that you use? Yeah, the, the training facilities are, are superb. Um, they, they've, uh, they've done a great job, the quality of the pitch surface, um, the, uh, the actual um, temporary gym they've put up is, is fit for purpose, so there's no complaints here. It took us 45 minutes to get to the training venue uh, yesterday, but no matter where you are, that's, that's going to be part of the equation. Um, it means that you've got to, you know, you, you probably want to make sure that you make maximum use of those training windows because it, it is, uh, it is a, a little bit of a, a strenuous journey um, to get to them. I think we came here because 
we thought we'd be a little bit out of the way. It's uh, we liked the fact that it was quite open, um, and it was a, a, an opportunity to probably to transition a little bit before we uh, before we go right into the heart of of where the games are going to be played in Yokohama.